My name is Chris Baker. I'm a campaign manager with the uh, Flight Opportunities Program and the Space Technology Mission Director. There's uh, several technologies that we're working to test through, through our program with commercial space companies. Uh, one of them in particular is a series of technologies from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for autonomous entry, descent, and landing technologies to help safely land payloads on the surface of Mars in close proximity or, or in uh, proximity to hazardous terrain. When we're landing a rover on the surface of Mars, we use a large landing ellipse. Uh, because of the uncertainty in where we're actually going to come in, as we enter through the atmosphere, you have wind and other atmospheric phenomena that push you a little bit off course from where you entered. Also, there's some uncertainty in where you actually entered in uh, to the atmosphere. Now, when you are entering and you're coming in for a landing, there's a wide range of places that you may actually come to rest. And so currently what we do is we pick an area that is free of hazards for that entire uncertainty band. What we do is we use the new technologies that JPL is, is working on to try to better control where we are, or our knowledge of where we are, over the Martian surface, and then use the spacecraft's ability to correct for that within the final couple kilometers of landing to get closer to where we actually want to land. What JPL is introducing for future Mars missions is an automated system that as a spacecraft is entering through the atmosphere is looking for key terrain features and trying to map its position as it's coming in for a landing relative to this map. And this is a technology that we don't currently have when landing on the surface of Mars.